Hey, best friends, on this week's episode of Teachers Off Duty, we're talking about the new year and whether it's Happy New Year or Happy New Year's. And we're also talking about the return to school, your teacher bladder, and forgetting all your passwords. Stay tuned. educators what's up educators listen 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 are you listening if you're watching come a little closer listen watch understand something today is december 31st y'all know what that means happy new year happy new year i don't don't know if these are happy tears or sad tears why are you sad is this emotion is educators like the end of the school year but the end of the the real End of the break. calendar year, but then you got to still come back, but it's still closer to being finished. It's just a lot of emotions. We go back right. in like three days. And no, it's, a, it's a, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's bittersweet. Ah. It is. This is. I <laughs> know <laughs> you about to cry. You tell you. Ah. <laughs> this is the teachers off duty podcast, man, and I am your man, KC Mack. We got again, y'all been rocking with us all month. Y'all know these people, you love these people. Very intelligent, very loving, very hilarious people. Tell them who you are. Bow. Happy New Year from Jay Yoder. Already. And bow bow. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year from Honest Teacher Vibes. This is Casey Mack Litter, K Litter C. M A C K Funny. Okay. No, but listen, man, I hope you guys, I don't know what y'all doing tonight. Uh, I hope uh, you're doing something with your family or, you know what? Damn that. Go party. <laughs> Drink it up. <laughs> Party, drink it up. Have a great countdown, man, because, again, you guys deserve to celebrate. This is the end. Tonight, man, I'm celebrating tonight. Mm-hmm. Oh, as soon as we get leave from here, I'm, I'm partying. I'm I don't think right I've now. seen Midnight in a Decade. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, Lord, right? Jay. I was like, I'm still, I can't, I can't Jay's like, what else, man? Like, I'm asleep. I'll wake yeah, up in the I'm morning and find out yeah. it's the new year. Remember they said the world was going to end on December 31st? And Jay was like, nah, I'll see you when I wake yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't when, know. They, when they told us about Y2K, you know what oh I mean? Oh, my gosh. People were like bunkered down in their church basements, man. <laughs> Your computer will mouth on fine time. <laughs> <laughs> we're still here. Right. Still kicking still it. Here. Still rocking. Man, but now, what do, you, what do you, I guess, okay, what we're going to do is, man, we got a wonderful episode. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about uh, what teaching is like when we come back from the break, you know what I'm saying? But uh, before we get into that, again, I'm standing here with some wonderful comedians. You're sitting. I'm sitting here with some wonderful comedians. <laughs> uh, you guys saw us on the Board Teachers Comedy Tour, very hilarious, uh, from my left to my right. Uh, it's it's just a, it's just a great show. Again, uh, this year, matter of fact, tomorrow kicks off 2024, and we will officially be ready to start the Board Teachers Comedy Tour 2024. Woo-hoo! You want more? Let's go. Get your teacher besties. Let's go. Get your teacher besties for real. Listen, make sure you guys get tickets, man. I've been pushing this all month, but these states, listen, listen, come closer, watch, listen. Maine, Massachusetts, Texas, Florida, Vermont, New York State, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia. Get your tickets. We can't we wait outside. to see you, man. If you thought if you've been a part of it last year, you can't. Don't, blah, wait till this year. Definitely <laughs> what, going what's down. the blah blah? Blah blah. Wait till this year. <laughs> He's speaking in tongues over here. <laughs> <laughs> Taking us to church. <laughs> Before we get into this, man, let's, let's, since this is New Year's Eve. What are your New Year's resolutions? Let's do that. What well, you got, I'm, Jay? I'm repurposing last year's into new hopes for 2024. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to re- refurbish your New Year's resolution yeah, from yeah, last well, year? Yeah, I, I had a Peloton, and then I had a really good coat rack for about 10 months. <laughs> I had a good coat rack. <laughs> Lord, it's like, gee, man. That thing can hang some clothes, man. Yeah, it, it can hold a few. Uh, now, yeah, I, you know, I mean, every year I stopped. I stopped doing them, the resolutions. I'm just, you know what? Like, I just want to be. I just want to live a good life and be happy. I don't. I don't need to make the. I, I don't need to make any crazy resolutions. I don't do it anymore. I'm done. 
I don't know. That's wisdom right there. Plus, he's been teaching how many years? 19. 19. Kinda... That, he just gave up hope? There's no more hope? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Is that, after 17 years, I've become Al just like, Bundy. I'm just right. resigned. You, this is the second time <laughs> you have referred to Al Bundy. No. Did I? Oh, I did. Yeah. Oh, I love Al Bundy. <laughs> after 17 years, 19 years, after 19 years, you just like, you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. What's, what's your Dang resolution, Honest? I also do not make New Year's resolutions. Really? Yeah, I don't do them. Because they're pointless. I mean, exactly. I, I feel like there's no need to make a New Year's. Re- you don't need to make a New Year's resolution on something you're already doing. If you were going to do it, it wouldn't need to be a New Year's resolution. Yep. <laughs> really? If you were going to do it, it wouldn't need to be a New Now, I'm not saying that. Now, now what I do think people uh, spend time doing is making vision boards, like things uh, that yes. they now I do agree yeah. with those, like yeah. setting some. I, I think you need to set realistic goals. What you, what you, because the up. the essence of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting, expecting a different, different result. result. If yeah. you know every year on Al Gore's internet that you say that you're going to do X, Y, and Z for New Year's, and by midway through January, all y'all been doing is just clogging up the gyms that people have went to mm-hmm. to throughout the entire year, and now they ticked off because all y'all at the gym. And that ain't where you normally go. And now you mess with that bench press machine. Leave these folks bench press machine alone. Well, I mean. <laughs> you, hey, well, I, I, well, hold on now. Because they be mad. Well, hold I'm on. Saying. You stepping on my toes now. I'm because sorry. I don't care. My New Year's resolution, I'm going to be in the gym. Go I'm ahead, going to friend. go with the gyms, all the gyms. Jimmy John's. Yeah. Slim Jim's. <laughs> 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 My homeboy Jim, who makes the best steaks, you can all even the go with Joe, Jim and Joe, Joe Crab Shack, Joe's Ooh. Crab Shack. They got some good. I, no, food. No, 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 no. I just, I just always, I get tired of at the beginning of the year all the freaking people who go to the gym all year long complaining about the people who just got to the gym and they're all the gyms are flooded in January. So I'm, I'm not saying don't go to the gym because I've right. lost thirty pounds and I had to go to yeah. the gym. Ooh. Turn up once after the once shameless plug, <laughs> but I'm so I'm not saying that you don't you know you can't have a resolution of being healthy, but I'm saying the people who y'all complain about everybody's in your way at the gym like this is for you. That's why okay? I joined uh, I joined Planet Fitness because they give out pizza pizza on. parties bagel breakfasts. They have candy dishes every. It's like Halloween in there. Okay, you know I'm what I'm saying? With like the carbs up in. Isn't oh that my God. <laughs> No, I mean I've been going to the gym four or five times a week now, and I've lost. The ability to regulate my body's insulin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought I was counting. I just kept losing feeling in my right hand. <laughs> Y'all are literally some real comedians because I did not. That man said, <laughs> I lost the ability yeah. to regulate my insulin. Yeah. Yeah. I was, and I was, oh. I was, I was uh, eating. So, I mean, oh. I was working out so late at night that I started having like nightmares about it. Yeah. Like, I think that the CEO of Planet Fitness is the witch from Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> Like she's you remember like she's leading me treats to like fatten me up like uh, she's gonna cook me for Sunday dinner. <laughs> she's Dude, gonna cook me. You said she was having nightmares about like like wait like the gym and stuff. That she that she was the CEO is the witch from you know Hansel what? And Gretel. That's not too far fetched. I actually had a nightmare something similar. I was asleep and I just remember waking up. I was like <laughs> treadmills. Let's <laughs> go, dude. You th- you think those are massage chairs? Those are meat tenderizers, my friend. <laughs> All right, those aren't those aren't suntan boots. Those are George Foreman grills. Oh my gosh! I don't think there's anything wrong with I. Instead of New Year's resolutions, I believe in vision boards. So you have an idea of what you want your Uh, year to turn out. The the vision board would be making sure you have great vision to see the menu board as you're ordering. Uh, (laughs) Let me get that number two. Let me get that number three. I can't with either one. I will will say, legit, when my wife and I, when we first got married, we had bought it. We could bought this half of a house that all we could afford. We looked at. 40 houses it was attached to hoarders long story short they had like trash seven feet high in all three floors it was a terrible investment we had dumped all our savings into it and i was just so depressed uh and uh i remember hanging up a bulletin board in our family room and it was all the things i wished i had in a house Mm -hmm. and right before right before covid in 2019 we bought that house that had all of those things and i looked at that board every day thinking there is no way i will and there's just something about Mm -hmm. seeing that 
and and believing that you you deserve it and mm-hmm. you can have and it and putting so like, the work in to, yeah, to get yeah that there, yeah. all of those pieces and so that's why like new year's resolutions and whatever like you just got to be have gratitude and put one step in front of the other and control what you can control and let the rest be what it is because so, isn't it like 25 percent of people you know they uh, we'd be making up percentages but there's a there's research on the percentage of people that drop off their new year's resolution after like the first couple of weeks into the it, yeah it's i mean into the year yeah because you said it like if they're going to do it they're going to do it you're going to walk the walk walk the walk okay. outside of traditional resolutions that mm-hmm. people make what would be your teacher resolution now, that you would make going into <laughs> this <laughs> next school year coming up what you got i would like to not raise my voice as much as i do and oh, okay. figure out some more alternative re- ways to putting bass in my voice. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you read that off of somewhere. Right, right, that's like, in her heart. <laughs> <laughs> from the pages of her heart. She, she went to a deep place. So very, that's from her delicate. spirit. <laughs> I, I, I would like to that's have good. more grace for my children. Because I love them, but they'd be little... Cray Christ. And we're we always and we carry. We're not, you know, we care. We don't live in a vacuum. We carry we carry stuff with us. We got we're real people. We got things going on at home. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, and so yeah, I think that just realizing to take a breath. And somebody said I saw once where they said they put a post it note uh out that just said, you know, remember all kids uh you know all kids are good and deserve to be loved and they just had like a little post-it note so like because they had a challenging class that year Mm -hmm. and it just reminded them that you know that kid who's acting out that kids who's doing whatever Mm -hmm. like they might be telling you something yeah be in a position it's a time for us to start fresh i think that's a good one you have one i'm just gonna substitute more hey oh my gosh casey i can't wait to hear your substitute teacher story yeah i'm I'm just gonna sub more um i think um still being able with the scheduling of the tour i'll be able to still be able to dedicate more time to at least the first half of the week you know because I, I, I like i said I, honestly i miss it man that's why i applaud you when you actually went back i was like i was like, i ain't even mad at you mm. i, I ain't mean even i love it you. I, I miss the connection like with my my peers and with the with the kids man because you know so that's why i'm, I'm definitely going to do more yeah. subbing going back yeah, I'm interested. I took a I took a sabbatical for the first half. I'm doing grad work, and uh, and I'm going back January 19th. So it'll be 18, 19 days. Goodness. I'll be back full time. Woo woo. Uh, and I just, I, I yeah, I wanna, I wanna go refresh. I mean, after COVID, I'll tell you what, I, I felt like I lit myself on fire to keep everybody mm-hmm. warm, and, and I was helping so many people learn technology and do all yeah. these extra stuff just out of the goodness of my heart, and uh, I, I feel like I got a little jaded with it and I just got mm-hmm. burnt out and yep. so I'm hoping now that I'm going to go back renewed refreshed yeah. and just, just feel like my old in. self again yeah. you know that's my goal yeah alright that's, that's, that's pretty cool man. On vision hey, everybody please put your uh, resolutions that you're going to um, guys wanted to accomplish in the comments man I, I go to the comments all the time I love reading I, we what do you guys like reading y'all's comments so put your uh, new year's resolution for school you know uh, into the comments and <laughs> <laughs> Let's check them out. Can I tell you a, an embarrassing story, real quick? You sure can. All right, I'm so nosy. I want. I, the I didn't know about it. I didn't know about vision boards back then, but I think I really believed because in third grade we got a dog, and I got to name the dog. And you know what I named our dog? What? Becky. Oh. After my third grade crush. Mm. And uh, I know some of you're thinking, is that creepy? Is that cute and adorable? I was just an old soul. You know what I mean? <laughs> they might name because the dog Becky. eight years later, I took human Becky to prom. <gasps> That was my vision board. Your, so your dog was I named my dog after this dog, girl right. that I really right. had a crush on, and I ended up taking human Becky to prom. Did y'all, now, how far did y'all go after prom? So she left me halfway through prom because turns out she didn't like being called human Becky. <laughs> But I was so nervous. I mean, I got a limo. I like I stocked it with all her favorite treats. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and, and then, this is like being in a comedy then, show. <laughs> Boy, I thought she was talking about somebody named Becky that was a human. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, is it the same Becky that you had a crush on, or is it the one that was like in a new class with you and her name was Becky and it just worked no, out that way? It really was the girl. No, he took the but real girl. He kid. took a dog. No, no, I, no, I took human Becky. No, the, the human Becky. You said it was the dog. No, no he named Becky. the dog. Uh, I'm so confused. Okay, look. So in third grade. Oh, ahead, you Casey. called her human Becky. No, 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 no. I'm stupid. Listen. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I, Damn it, I'm Bree, gonna just go, listen. I'm going to walk off set. <laughs> I know Because this is clearly <laughs> only comedians. I can't tell when y'all are being serious. 
I, I'm, I'm scared right now. His What's intentions. a safe word? I, blink, blink pineapple. Three, <laughs> pineapple. Blink three times because I they they're telling jokes. He set too. his intentions out when he was younger. Uh, so instead of like a vision board, he named his dog. I know Becky. the name of the dog. But right. Who went to prom? Because there was a real girl Becky that he really liked. Yes. Okay. So when they got to prom, a few years eight later, eight years later, eight years later. He actually got the chance to date the real Becky. But you said you Human put Becky. all her favorite treats in there. Is it a dog or a person? I well, that was the jo- that was the joke. <sighs> you know what, guys? Can we just? <laughs> it's fine. I, whatever. I don't care anymore. No, it wasn't. No. Whatever. Don't talk to me because I'm still trying to. There figure was my out vision who is, board, and who, it came true. Was it a dog? It was a dog. Thank you. That's all. No, I was not that he took the prom. Who said you said she didn't like being called Human Becky? That was human Becky. Right. Human Becky doesn't like to be called human Becky. Because why do you have to tell everybody? All right. That was a bad idea. Let's, put, look, wait, let's, 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 let's go to the, to the. It's me. I'm the problem. <laughs> okay. Listen, y'all need to. I'm helping y'all practice y'all little jokes or whatever. That was good. So when you do your little joke or whatever, do it so that you can know if people, if, That's if good. in That's layman's it. terms, the civilians, we know. What you trying to say? That's it. Why did you just turn into my eighth grade student? <laughs> when she's like, she's like, I'm like, why did you just turn into Michaela? You don't turn into Michaela. You know, turn into Michaela like, hold on, I'm Mr. Man. Myself. I need to let you know. Yeah. <laughs> you, cause you gonna, you gonna <laughs> tell me, you're gonna make me feel bad, cause you ain't set your joke up right. I just am not it's okay. smart. Yeah, Can't sorry. follow oh, the context. No, clues. no. Hey, Bourbon's name is Mark. Okay, so anyway. Hey, none of this. <laughs> Okay, so hey, boom. My no, New Year's resolution is to understand jokes and not mess. <laughs> no. My New Year's resolution is not make uh, comedians have to explain their jokes. Mine is to remember joke. my passwords from. Uh... Oh, oh my gosh! Snap. Yeah, well, I don't have that problem. You know? No, every, I cannot. I keep remember one password my... for everything. Oh uh, well, Casey's getting See, hacked. <laughs> I will say this. <laughs> Dude, there's Not a website you can. That. There's a website you can go to, and if you will type in your password, it'll tell you how long it would take somebody to hack it. It's the website it's that's sca- going to hack and it's, it. And it's scary how fast most of them. Because I had, so I had a student who's now a cyber tech like analyst, and she like gets paid to ethically hack websites. Like a company will bring her in hack a website. So she came in and talked to my students about their passwords, mm-hmm. and she said and it was really good advice. Her advice was to tell a story with your password. Mm. Write that down. And then, and then, what sometimes you do? Then you insert symbols and stuff in replace, like you know, so, at symbols for A's and money signs for so, S's. So and, what you're saying is, so okay, I put my login name, boom. So when it says password, I'm supposed to be like, it was a dark and stormy <laughs> night. Yes. And one day, once upon a time, Oliver. <laughs> Password. One day, all of us oh, saw this beautiful best. princess that's named right. Katniss. Katniss. <laughs> that's the whole password. The whole password. That's is it better, idea. or otherwise, you're getting the one that Google suggests, which is like the same Who thing. Nobody but like, remembers. Yeah, nobody remembers. Well, I've noticed now um, certain things. I was just now um, signing up for. And they give me an option on, I don't know if this is on, just on iPhone or whatever, but it gives me the strong password suggestion. Have you saw that yet? Yeah. Yeah. But it's always a bunch of random numbers right. yeah. and letters yeah, that I'm not like, going to remember. Yeah. I, I, I don't think you're supposed to. I think you're just supposed to put, you know, remember. Remember password. Yeah. Like, but I then have what such if a I great to... one, but I can't tell you because it's my password. Tell us And after. it would like be a perfect example, tell but I can't. After. No, I can't tell you. What's I'll tell you a little bit. Because my mom texted me I'm this morning because she has a new iPad and she doesn't have the Wi-Fi password and I had to give it to the, the one that suggested was like, Met forty two rub seventy two named. I'm like what? what? It sounded like a weird audible call for an NFL team, <laughs> and it was just like, but that was what it was. So if you're ever near my house, that's my uh, Wi Fi pass. <laughs> Listen, if you're ever near my house. <laughs> and, and, and to all you people out there, if your password is password, stop. You're getting hacked now. Get out. But get like, out. Get out. Get out. You're done. You're done. Like I would have human Becky, but with. <laughs> <laughs> I am just so done with y'all. I'm gonna no, look, but I'm like, gonna look you, over you have to tell us to tell a story. No, like, because I can't remember who Human Becky. Oh, you were talking about. I'm but sorry. I mean, with I the was... password, just <laughs> something that's unique to you. That's like you know. So like, not your kid's birthday because it's easy to yeah, hack that. Easy. Oh shit! Yeah, I need like, to change mine right now. I hate progress reports or something, and then just. <laughs> Somebody's password right now. Yeah. I hate admin. Yeah, there it is. That's right. That's it. Just tell a story. <laughs> My password is I gotta pee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> e- 
exclamation point. <laughs> no, I was <laughs> Speaking of peeing, man, now we got to retrain our bladder oh. to be able to go to... That, oh, that, that's yeah. almost like the worst part, too, of like going back is like trying to retrain your bladder. Yeah, because yeah. you, you, you've given them freedom for the past few weeks. <laughs> what do <laughs> you have, man? <laughs> you, you that's, that's the sound of someone who doesn't, doesn't Yeah, know, he judged but, us, hey. man. Right. Like the, the, the editor, camera guy off, off set over here judging us because he gets to pee whenever he wants to, man, and we took that personally. He's peeing right now. <laughs> Just, just to rub it on our faces. He's just, uh, he just showing out at this wear, point. We just wear a diaper. I'm just going to wear a diaper or whatever. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if any teachers do that because you can't go pee, bro. Well, I'm sure there's older teachers that well, can't yeah, yeah, have yeah. to do their thing. Well, I'm day. saying like some Dang, people like, I was going to use that on one of my teacher hacks, the teacher hack episode. <laughs> well, you saved that. Yeah, we'll save that. Oh, one. I was like, is that this episode? <laughs> no. <Nah, that's what laughs> Which episode is that? We can talk about that on the teacher hacks. The other thing that I feel like, even the retrain, the, the morning routine. Because yeah. now all of a sudden you're setting your alarm again. You're getting, yeah. and the thing, at least at my school, like I have to time the commute, the drive, like because you had to get in before the buses. And and I always miscalculate. And if you miscalculate every single, by a every minute, single time, it can cost you twenty apps every single time. Or I'm late because I went to get Starbucks, and I was like, I'm willing to risk it all for <laughs> a caramel macchiato, grande caramel macchiato, extra caramel, willing to risk it all. I'm just saying, that's I how I bribe that. myself to go to work. No, that yeah, no, not that's playing. The point. My <laughs> The same way. I had to bribe myself. Hey, but if you get up right now, I buy you a caramel macchiato. <laughs> That's exactly For real? I said the exact yep. conversation. Okay, you're on. <laughs> what? <laughs> you no, but yourself. you really do have to like re like do your morning routine. Cal- the calibration is real. Like There's a, not the calibration. These ten and fifteen dollar words you're using now. Are I you? Wait, a, you just, are an intellectual. I, there wait, ain't no two dollar words over here with you. <laughs> There ain't no two dollars and fifty cents. You'd never cent. know I'm from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I can't. <laughs> Scranton, he just hated all on y'all. Like he ain't throw no shade through the whole tree. But like you do, you have to kind of retrain yourself to be like, all right, I'm gonna get up at this time, go to the gym, because now all of a sudden we're going to the gym. So now, mm-hmm. are you a morning gym person, an afternoon gym person? I ain't no no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I like I want to be a morning gym person, and then I say I'm gonna be an afternoon gym person, and then I'm a, and then I'm a no gym person. <laughs> the only time I go to the gym is for basketball practice, and then we done. When, That's right. When and the yeah, then over. I just justify running around with the kids and doing what I can to keep active get a little cardio in there a little, little cardio it's like your brain was on autopilot like all of break and yeah. now it's a lot of stuff you gotta you got now you gotta remember how to teach you yeah, gotta, you, you, gotta, a lot of you gotta go and start googling what you're supposed to be teaching like hey Day ahead of the kids. you spell onomatopoeia wrong i had a buddy who was in school in like fourth grade he took his jacket off and he just had the tie on but no shirt why did he do that no one knows to this day <laughs> No, no. To this day, he did still he just, walks around he just, just for the time. Forget about the shirt, like he was like, sorry. He was that's like, like one of them, them, them tuxedo shirts. You remember what he said? Yes, it yes. says, "I'm casual but like the party." At the I'm same casual time, casual but like the party. <laughs> Why is Steve wearing a tie and no shirt? Is this Chippendales? <laughs> no, oh it's St. Rose Elementary. Right. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I think the date, the first thing I know is like I start, even on my own personal life, checks or whatever, I start putting like, I'll start, I'll keep putting 20, 23 forever. Oh my gosh, all oh, the yeah, time. The kids are like, like roll Miss over. Richardson, it's 2024. And I'm like, imagine y'all being able to pay attention to details, but you can't remember the instructions I just gave you two seconds ago. That's crazy. And like, you you're like, see you next year. And oh, like, I hate that <laughs> joke. It's so corny. <laughs> So corny. Everybody always Don't play says with my that. emotions. I really do need an additional 365 days. Yes. Don't play with my emotions. <laughs> Don't play with my emotions like that. It's like freeze time. And then when you sit in like professional development and you haven't had to like make yourself pay attention to anything like consistently for now and you they're like don't teach the kids from a powerpoint them through the entire professional development. All right, you can go to the next slide. Yes. We've teach been looking at slides for 45 minutes, bro. Yeah, I'm teach sleeping. about teach about student engagement in the most disengaging ways. Mm. What is that? What is that in in ELA? Like an oxymoron or something? Or um, yeah, not an like oxymoron, you, well, an not idiom, oxymoron, uh, an idiom, irony, irony. Oh, irony. Yeah, irony. Hey, we're managers. We're not. We're not. We're not. Ex, we're not sages on a stage. We're sages we're, on a stage. You got some phrases you be saying. Oh my sages God. on the stage. A honey badger phrases. Honey, so, yeah. sta- stage. Would you say sages on the stages? You know what I used to have? A sage on a stage. I used to have imposter syndrome for the longest time because I thought I had. To, I do when I was yeah. when I was a student teacher. I was student teaching this Latin three class, and I'll be honest. I didn't think I was. I didn't think I could handle it. A kid before school came up to me and was like, "Hey, can you help me with my homework?" And he like showed it to me, and I couldn't answer it. 
and I lost it. And I had like go walk around the building. My co my cooperative teacher had to like calm me down, like because yeah. I was just like oh, I shouldn't be here. I can't answer this one question, so that I'm, I'm a failure. And like I that that lived with me for so long that you ha it took a while to get over that imposter syndrome. Yeah. And that's why I think it's important that like you know when we recharge over the break, we come back fresh and we realize that like now now the way the technology is, we don't have to know all the answers. Right. But that's our job. Our job is to help them figure out what's nonsense and what's real you right. know so I, I let go of all that stuff and I, don't I think know. that's important for first year teachers too because nobody like I remember my first year teaching I would leave our um like PD meeting or our mm -hmm. like grade level meeting and I literally would cry like every week I would because they were they were talking about like question stems and like DOK levels and stuff and like I went to school for sports medicine and I did an alternate route program came in as a long-term sub when I finished my program then I was a teacher but I'm like you you feel like you can't ask like what's DOK like what's yeah. a question stem like I I would just leave feeling so stupid because I didn't want them to be like web's How depth of knowledge yeah yeah I'm like so if you're a new teacher or you did an alternate rap program because probably somebody quit in December so somebody job somebody job vacant so it's a long-term sub in there right now or a first-year teacher that's coming in in January filling somebody's position you don't have to it's know all the anything. acronyms they throw all these acronyms at mm -hmm. you like you like you know and you, then don't tell you what it is FERPA. I'm like <laughs> the, the, <laughs> <laughs> when I is that a, is that somebody's little pet stuffed oh, animal? Oh, remember the Furbies? Furba. Oh, it's a Furby. So when I was a, we used to have these first year teach like when you're a first year teacher at my school, we had to like meet every month as a cohort. Mm -hmm. So I had two other buddies, and we would sit in the back. And the one time, the person just kept saying Furpa for 45 straight, and we were just cracking up because it's a funny sounding word. It's Fam Family Equal Rights Protection Act. So basically, the stuff that means you're going to protect identity. Right, right, you're right. not going to share stuff out. But they never said what it was. But it just kept saying Furpa, and that's all we kept hearing in our head. And we were so tired. And you know, yeah. you're, you know, you're they're making us stay after for these hours. Hours. But for the rest of the year, we traded off having somebody had to seriously raise your hand at the end of the meeting, uh, and they had to ask a serious question about FERPA, even if it had nothing to do with the meeting. And my friend had just become an admin; he just went over the dark side, and, I, ra and I raised my side. hand, and I was like, oh, "I'm sorry, is this related?" to FERPA because I was concerned and I just want to make sure I'm staying in line with it. And, and I just was saying whatever. Yeah, yeah. He comes up to me in the hallway then he's like, yo, I just want to make sure you, you're you clear on that. Because he's trying to prove himself as an administrator. Yeah. He's like, and he's got the imposter, imposter syndrome. syndrome. Yeah, 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 man. And I'm yeah. like, dude, I'm just messing with you. We have this, we have this he, running bet. It was my month. I'm sorry. He wanted to, <laughs> it was my month. He wanted to add the sage on the stage too. Because if you didn't do it, you had to buy the round at happy hour. Oh, after. Lord have mercy. And buying a round on teacher salary at happy hour, y'all. Oh, you better drink water. Well, everybody get well drinks. Yeah. Bottom Wait. shelf. But hey, I now know FERPA. I understand what FERPA is. You got to play games. Yeah. You got to. It was a way for us to stay engaged when we wanted to take a nap. Yeah. Do y'all change your classroom decorations when you come back from? Oh, ah! man, hell no. <laughs> Say what? Hell the no. way that you was like. <laughs> like Wait, be what, so for real. What You're are decorations? Joke. You're a joke. What's your classroom theme? <laughs> Classroom. Uh, classroom. I, I see. I, desk. I, yeah. <laughs> desk. Chalkboards. <laughs> yeah. It's like a frat Pencils. house in there. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to lie. Male teachers, like, y'all's classrooms will straight up, it'll be like just one random poster board on the wall. And, like, mm. the rest of it just is this. Or it's the opposite. Or they go overboard. I have one guy that had, like, even stuff on the ceiling. And it's like stimulus overkill. Like, there's just some of it, yeah, too some much. Of it can be. But, like, you know, but yeah, you got to find a happy medium. I, cool. I, I respect the teachers like, that create an environment in there. I mean, and I'm not saying it got to look like a Pinterest threw up in there, but <laughs> some teachers, I'm like, hey, man, look like jail in here, sir. Like, you need to <laughs> put something on the walls. <laughs> I, I share a classroom the last couple of years because I've been between buildings. So. I like we divided it down like the end and I put some of the direct decorations on this side. I mean, I have some stock decorations I've had forever. Mm -hmm. Right. But, you know, I, I, I shared a classroom. So I remember the, you know, my, my homegirl was one of my good teacher Bessie, but she always was like, look how my room is decorated over here. And look at your corner over there. It's just <laughs> dry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you got it dry. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, just give me a moment. I'm going to I'm gonna hook just it up. So. By the time I did, I had to look. You know, I had to looking good. I had the little black lights trimming around my little board. Oh, did you? Look with my at name. You. I had my posters up there. You know what I'm saying? Everything was looking good. And um, then everybody was like, they liked my side of the room better than her side. That's a lie. No, 
they did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> they did. I was just playing. Cause, oh, because I could do like with the black lights. Like I said, I had the black lights trim, so I would get like highlighters and whatever. Are I, you talking I could, about the sticky lights, like the the strips? Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. I had them going. So whatever I wrote on my board, it you know highlighted cool. it with the black light. So I was I was the cool one. She was. So white. I feel like the kid. Remember that one episode you were talking about, like the parents, like please remind your kids. Like what they need to do when they come yeah. back to school. Their yeah, yeah, behavior. yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. So I know there are a lot of parents that did have their talk with their kids, and your kids still came back Hopefully. and acted like y'all didn't have no kind of conversation. Right. Because they come back to school and forget how to school. Like, which, how can we be mad at them, though? Because we came back and we couldn't remember our passwords. Right. We was falling asleep in PD. So, right. so at this point, I do understand. Well, but you got, you just got to know going in, there's going to be some of those those rough patches like you know what yeah. I mean? you just got to know like all right the first couple days and it's always like depending it's always like a four-day week or a three-day week mm-hmm. you know so it's like you just realize that's going to be the rec- that's going to be the recalibration of the retraining period and we're right. just gonna figure each other out right i try to do like a, a project or something out of the gates that's like super mm-hmm. engaging that's mm-hmm. like where i can start introducing and just the discovery part where they right. just get to explore and right. like not have to have something structured so right. far what if the first assignment back would be actually make your students responsible for creating your vision board for you. I love it. Do you imagine what they would want on my right. vision board? Like, <laughs> Stop being such a jerk. Yeah, they'd be, like, they'd be like, no tests. I don't believe in tests anymore. Why can't we have right. a free day every day? Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm tired of learning in here. Can you turn the air off? It's always cold in here. It was, it was like when you when you, somebody would run for like uh, class president in like sixth grade. They'd be like, we're going to change the water fountains to be chocolate milk. Like, what are you talking <laughs> Just about? Just like unreasonable like, stuff. Yeah, like, like, you yeah. have no power here. Yeah, like You're like, not going to be able to do that. What are we doing here? <laughs> Not no. gonna be able to do that. What about going back and realizing that you just walked back into food deprivation? Food deprivation. We don't get to eat lunch when we go back That's to school. That's true. I do be having some little sneaky snacks. In Remember, my drawer, at home we got to eat whatever we wanted to eat whenever yeah. we wanted to eat it. Yeah. Now we come back this little crappy twenty-two minute lunch, maybe that I need yeah. to try to make maybe. copies, go to the bathroom, right. and try to eat something, and grade some papers, put some stuff in, get a kid to make up an assignment. Like it's a, and have a data meeting. It's a lot going on. You're doing, yeah. five, yeah, of time. doing a ton of things. I can't do sixty things at one time. I think if people at uh, places like what Amazon, Kinkos, if they get an hour of lunch <laughs> break. <laughs> I don't know. Is that, thing is, is that still around? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is there still a King Coast? They're next to Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> Them and Radio Shack like, are what? hanging out. Not Radio Shack. I forgot. <laughs> Circuit City. <laughs> <laughs> if places like that get an hour lunch break, then damn it, we should too. <laughs> That's right. That's Dude, right. Can you imagine if we got an hour lunch break? So when I, oh was, my when I was in high school, I had the chance to go to Argentina for... It was our summer, their winter, and that the school there actually was like eight to five, mm-hmm. but from one from like one to three or twelve to two uh, was free time. You either went home and had lunch with your family. Are you serious? Uh, sports and music practices happened then, or you know, and so it was kind of this time at the end because usually there was this kind of like the parents, yeah. Like my host parents were lawyers; they were coming home from the office. Mm. And having meals, like, you know, it, they kind of built it into the day yeah. instead of putting it out because it gave the natural mm. break. That's why, like, some places do, like, genius hour. Or they mm. do, you know, flexible things in the middle of the day because we, we do. We need a break. Yeah. We need, you know, we need something like that to. We definitely do. I feel like there would be a lot, like, a lot less stress if we got an actual break during the day. Like, and I'm not mm. talking about, like, a 20-minute plan. I mean, I know, like, you know, they would say, like, it's not feasible, like. To, but it's it's sad that it's not feasible to give us a break during the day. Like, because what would our kids be doing while we were on break? Swinging from the rafters. What you mean? <laughs> right. Like, well, <laughs> it can't be unsupervised right. for no time. That's what I'm saying. I'm burn the building down. Every <laughs> fire alarm in the building That's getting it. pulled. That's one of them them ideas that sound good until you really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, right. No, we put somebody's it out. got somebody's got to watch them. Somebody's got to watch them. <laughs> just not me. Just not me. <laughs> yeah, just not me. Like y'all, all y'all go in the cafeteria or go in the gym with admin. <laughs> And it'd be two of y'all in there with 600 right. kids. Get a big parachute off. Or, or, parachute. or, or <laughs> depending on which kids, because some kids don't always come back immediately when school starts. They're still on vacation. That's true. Yeah. They come back. They still. And I'd be jealous. Right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'd jealous. Man. I'm like, wow. Well, they're, Me too. they're used to doing what they want when they want. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, or, you know, if you're someone who uses devices, you know that half the time they're probably figuring out how to hack the filter system so they can get games These up. kids turn their device. One of my kids, uh, last year, her computer screen was turned sideways. Some Somebody had figured out how to flip the screen, mm -hmm. and she could not figure out how to. I was I, like, yeah, what yeah. happened to your computer screen? She's like, Mr. Not, I don't even know. I was like, go get another computer. It's amazing, because they, they all learn the keys. Now, there's a key you can do as if you're a school that has a Chromebook. I went to a, a training once where they're like, hey, this finger right here, you can close windows with this. Because like the teacher would go around and like, there's a certain way you could put your fingers that if you saw a kid on a window he shouldn't be on, you could like stealth behind him. And <laughs> stealth. Hit, like control like W or whatever it was to like close out the window. And it was like all these hacks that teachers were trying to learn to combat the fact that, you know, Bart Simpson's digital now. So, oh my you know what I mean, like we got to figure out no, a way. We just to... use like NetRef and GoGuardian well, to tell our kids. Yeah. Well, you know, the, <laughs> they actually cut off and I'm um, with the streaming services, even for the teachers. Oh yeah. No, you can't stream any. Yeah. yeah I mean, so I'm all set in the hotspot over here. <laughs> it's like, I'm watching Netflix <laughs> during my 20 minute. That's right. I'm going to MacGyver my way through this lesson. <laughs> I let, I let a teacher use my uh, Hulu password one time because he wanted to uh you know uh show movies and stuff and that was cool but he overstepped he overstepped because how, overstep? how about later that night i go to home log into my hulu he done set up his own profile oh absolutely not sir <laughs> absolutely not that's foul that's foul that's foul, that's foul. That's foul. Don't you ever disrespect my well, like The worst is when they go into here. It's better. That's more polite than just going and jacking up your like recently watched list. Oh, and yeah. Now, not, yeah. now your algorithm like, best sir, off. you did not put yeah. in on this. You do not. Yeah. You don't create no profile. Uh, do I come in your house right. and just make a pallet on the floor in your living room and sleep exactly. in your living room? Don't you dare invade my privacy like that, even though I, I gave you my password. Well, but it's, <laughs> he, it's like he built an addition onto your house. It's not like he came into your bedroom. Because if you use your profile, then he's coming into your bedroom. At least he had the decency to build like a tiny house on the outside. Uh, <laughs> Mother-in-law suite. Yeah. yeah, a little digital, little digital uh, in-law suite. I feel like the first day back after like break, like the professional development day, I literally go home and go to sleep like mm. immediately. Well, there's just a level of tired that you forget mm -hmm. about. And I forget to drink water. And then I forget how much, you know, either you're you're talking during the day yeah. and and just that stuff. Because then you're de if you're dehydrated, you're not drinking enough water, you're mm. going to get more tired. You're going to have headaches. But you can't you're drink not. any water because we can't go to the bathroom. Yeah, that's true, too. It's conservation. <laughs> so, But here's my thing, though. So when we come back, when we come back, right? <laughs> you laugh! What's the... <laughs> He's like, I like that laugh better. I have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, when we come back, what is the what is the what are we counting down to? I know spring break, but that's that's a little bit of a gap. Sometimes it's just the yeah. next day. <laughs> I'm about to say I don't have, we don't have a countdown to anything. <laughs> you come back, you're looking for the next break. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Some break? schools are trying to go to the year round school. So like you have every night, yo, I twitch when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> Casey the, was like, "Don't you ever disrespect me like that?" I'm always curious. How does the, the all year round school? So calendar essentially, work? essentially, every nine weeks they get a two week break. Yeah, so like do. they would be off in the oh. so like your last day of school would be at the end of May. Okay, you're off for the entire month of June and like a week in July. Teachers come back the second week of July, and then the kids start the last week of July, and then you don't have a, you have a break. Yeah, like at the end of the nine weeks, you have two week break, and you can do all sorts. Like even in Europe, sometimes in France, like they have Wednesdays off as a result. I wish that. And so you know, like there's you can redistribute because one eighty is one eighty. If you're going to get to yeah. one, right. so like, we're not an agrarian society anymore. All right, these kids aren't out. I'm so sorry. Harvesting. I'm so sorry. What 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 was that word you used? Agrarian. Agrarian. No, agrarian. That's what you so not, that's not what said. The reason the reason like, we had the nine month school is because you had to be home for the harvest. Because you had to be home to like get the plants and the crops that oh, were okay. ready. Well, the, the only thing we're harvesting and now is like my nerves i need to like recharge my battery <laughs> like so we i don't so i think like now we're not in that kind of society so mm -hmm. should we be doing are we seeing too much of a slide well they said the kids? learning loss too well, like they want to but but the schools first of all the schools that have done it i've heard from some teachers that they did like it because they were like we got a two-week break to look Regular forward breaks. to yeah. every, every but weeks. then the other thing is with the two-week break, one of those weeks, parents can still send their kids to school for, like, remediation. Kind of like an extended school year would yeah, be in the and summer. Some, yeah, and yeah, some yeah, yeah. teachers can choose to, work that like, they that. can choose to work that week. But, like, then you, I, I, I don't know how they would combat the amount of teachers. Because some kids, some parents, like, they don't have childcare for 
two for two weeks. But like, so they still, still it's gonna a lot send for their... eight weeks to have childcare <clears throat> too, though. I mean, you know what I mean? That's like, true. It That's might true. be a little bit easier, and then you do like little day camps or like whatever. My school district is considering doing this, and the the one that I looked at, you still get your two week break for Christmas, mm -hmm. and that like the way that they have the schedule set up is you start in July, your first break is in September, like your first two week break is in September, and then in, in I think in November you get one week for Thanksgiving okay. and then you still get your two week break in December mm -hmm. and then in March I guess you get two weeks for spring break instead of one right, right, and right. then so the schedule I looked at I, mean, I was I mean, like it hey, makes that sense I mean, you think you're you're essentially getting all of the normal breaks you normally do we're just taking just those longer. eight weeks and saying yeah. we're let's chunking divide it. those into right. two <laughs> because <laughs> technically they have it set to where the kids if they end up following this schedule the kids would be out of school for six weeks as opposed to eight. But then you still would have more time off because of the the yeah. two week breaks every whatever. But they're saying that they're doing it to prevent like learning loss. But I'm mm. like six weeks is still a long time for. Yeah. So I think that it's beneficial to us as like teachers because we get more breaks. But I don't know how it's preventing learning loss, especially if kids don't come to school that extra. Well, week and learning that you're doesn't is, learning doesn't just ha happen in a classroom. Like the other thing yeah. too is like what about summer camps you guys ever go to summer camp like i mean, I didn't go to a ton of them but every once in a while i'd go to summer camp like all of a sudden you can't all those things that were like childhood summer you know you learn mm -hmm. a lot at at, at and things like that so if you're or when i studied abroad i wouldn't have been able to go study abroad potentially because that was during that break in the summer mm -hmm. when we had those times so like yeah i also understand whenever you're making changes like that it's mm -hmm. like it's when you start to have like uh, we had at our school where we started talking about late start times and a minute like they're like, oh, it's good. It's healthy. It but like then all good. of a sudden you start thinking about it. Oh, well, what about school yeah. sports? What about busing? What yeah. about and you open a can of worms? Mm -hmm. That's why I think change with education is so hard because yeah. there's a reason that, there's a reason why things have fit that way. And it's so mm. hard to disrupt the system. Yeah. It'll be interesting if they if they do end up doing that. It'll be it'll be very interesting. I'm the kind of person that's <laughs> just, up for anything. I, I think that's what yeah, teach, you know, like, real teachers have to. I'm be. like you a two week the break at the hey, end of the hey. nine weeks. Sound good to me. My yeah. question is, do we get paid more? What kind of question is that? No. <laughs> I just had to try something. At this no. Point. <laughs> well, I mean, the teachers get paid for that if they choose to work that week. Then yeah, uh, you're still getting get the paid. days off. Like you're still. But that's the same thing for like be... summer school. If you signed up for summer yeah, school. So yeah. So it's essentially yeah. there's. But then it. But then it also addresses the fact that is is it really going to be rest? Because most teachers we don't teachers don't make enough, and so there's a lot of teachers that will sign up for that week yeah. of remediation because they need the money. So then are they really getting? A rest yeah. since they don't have a you know a summer break technically I guess and and real quick you just reminded me of second jobs because tonight is uh, New Year's Eve uh, to all my teachers out there that's going to be Uber in the night to make that money make that uh, money. just be safe you know yeah. what I'm saying make sure you, you guys I, be I safe I did before the pandemic I was I, oh, I, I was, was an teaching, Uber driver yes I was teaching in Uber and that that's that good money on New Year's Eve all the fairs is uh, triple to double the surge you know, the surge mm -hmm. surge rate. Get y'all's money, man. But, but I, I tried Uber. But I was they, so bored driving. Uh, I was like, how are y'all here? I, don't mind. I, I, like, I need something to do. Yeah. Well, I just like, you mentioned the second job. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, if we had that year round thing, I couldn't go on tour all summer. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah. Like, I was, like, was, I was the, on the thing yeah. like four. That was the other I thing. I was away like four weeks this summer with the, yeah. uh, the oh, Teachers Who Stand Up yeah. tour. But I think some of the schools, like, they legitimately, it's like a, they still, like, they get out at the end of May and they're out all of June in either the first or second week. Ours would be they're out all of June. They're out the first two weeks of July. Teachers come back that third week of July and then the kids come back, you know, the last week of July. But I don't know. We... They asked us if we wanted to do it or not, and I don't know why they asked us because they're just going to do it whether they, they want, want to or not. But anyway. I appreciate the sentiment of right. saying, what do you guys think about this? Well, and, it's never, and the break's never long enough because you know there's going to be kids coming back you know, the day after. They're not going to come the day after New Year's. No, they're going to extend their break. And especially if the first day back is on a Friday. I never understand why you would ever make a first day back on a Friday. It's what, what are we doing here? So then Monday, I'm going to have to turn around and re -say, say everything that I already said. Yeah. Again, like, what is the purpose you got You got to go over the expectations again. You have to. You got to. I got to go over the expectations, what they expected me as a teacher, because I didn't <laughs> forget. <Like>. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute, real quick. Real? Because you uh, teach an elective, right? Now, as core teachers, we get the same students. Like, we know that mm. they're coming back. You know, they're going to finish up this uh, second semester. But you get a whole new group. Not necessarily. I mean, not necessarily. Oh, high school, they... 
Because I they have me all year. I'm like a I'm oh, a, I'm okay, a five okay. day a week class. I'm just like one that they might not necessarily need for graduation. Oh, okay, so as you know, how you only have like certain electives for a semester. And oh yeah, then yeah. Well, well, I, I, yeah. Right. I did we an elementary English program, so we used to have an elementary program, and I would I would teach the six all the sixth graders for the first semester, mm -hmm. and then and then they would go to STEM, and then mm -hmm. the ones who had yeah. STEM for mm -hmm. the fall, mm -hmm. the fifth, and the right. fifth graders. Yeah. So in that regard, it was, yeah. and that was like I I came in last. Uh, I had all new names to learn. Right, three hundred kids because I was going to four 300. different buildings. Three hundred. Yeah, because I was like, I was every, I did every fifth grade because it was once a Golly. week. Golly. Special. So like in in five days, I would see all these kids. So shout out to those teachers shout that have to, to do that. You got to do that. <laughs> That's baby. a good point. You got to do that, man. Just yeah. Whew. Just talking about this makes me dizzy. I know. I'm tired already. I'm like, I've been able to pee when I want. It makes my teeth I itch. Know. <laughs> it's worse than, it makes my teeth itch. It's like worse than the Sunday scaries, you know? It's like. Man, the, the New Year yikes. <laughs> the fact that you just came up with that off the top of your head. The New Year yikes. That's what we'll start that calling is, it. That is, man. We thank y'all so much, man. Again, have one heck of a night man you guys be safe we love y'all for those who are listening to it tonight if you're yeah. listening to it after new year's you know happy new year's yeah you know all that good stuff <laughs> it's happy Enjoy new the last year new year's happy yeah. new year uh, yeah new year new fear <laughs> <laughs> i've always been saying that for years <laughs> I've been saying Happy New Year's. I've been saying that. Oh my God, you're We're right. just messing with you, guys. Is it? Is it? Is it, is it I, not? I, I don't know. I think people say both. Is it both? Is it both? What New I Year's? Happy? Is it I Happy think New Year's? I think happy people New Year? say New Year's Eve, but then they say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. <laughs> well, there's gonna be more years. <laughs> There's going to be more years. <laughs> it's your man, KC, man. There's <laughs> going to be more years, right? I so hope happy New Year's. Year. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Thank you, here. brother. I was just thinking out loud. It's your man, KC, man. <laughs> but I'm Honest Teacher Vibes. Jay Yoder. Holla. We love y'all, man. Have a great 2024. Happy New Year's. Follow the podcast. <laughs> follow Board Teachers. Follow all of our social media. Follow the tour pages, man. We can't wait to see y'all. We love y'all. Fight! <laughs>